Hi everybody, welcome to the Sterling Scoop. This is where we highlight all of the fun things to see, do, and eat in the Sterling area. My name is Julie Bowman and today I'm at the Sweet Signatures Bakery um, yep. with one of the owners and entrepreneurs, Monica, and she's going to tell us all about um, how she started this business and why you should come. So we started the company 10 years ago in 2008. We were only online for about six years, wanted to grow the business, decided to build our own manufacturing facility. So this location is kind of a combination of manufacturing mostly, and then we open the doors to the public so they can come in for coffees, baked goods, and other chocolate treats as well. It sounds so good, and it smells so good in here. Um, so what are some things that people could come and do here? There's a lot of table space and, and, and places to sit. I also see that people come in for meetings, like work meetings. Yeah, so we have free Wi-Fi here, obviously. So people come in for meetings, one-to-ones. Sometimes people come in for coffee. They'll get some work done by themselves. Some people come and go. Some people use it as a place to take a break from work. And then on the personal side, we do have birthday parties here. We have some Girl Scout troops that come in. We make candy bars with them. The birthday parties, they get to decorate cupcakes and make candy bars. So that's a really good time. They get a tour of our facility. Um, so different people use it for different things. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I didn't know you could make candy bars. Yeah. So now I think we're going to have to come do that. Yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chocolate's my favorite food group, by yeah. the way. What is the most popular item that people order when they come in? Sure. So what we, a lot of people don't know is Sweet Signature specializes in custom treats, creating signature products for people. So for example, going into Mother's Day, they might want to put their photo, um, a photo of them with their mom on the treats or maybe just their mom. Sometimes people like to do throwback photos, which are a lot of fun. So it could be her when she was in her teens or as a kid or something like that. And so we put those on Oreos, graham crackers, Rice Krispie treats, cookies, brownies, different things of that nature. So a lot of people actually come in for signature products um, and then otherwise a lot of people will come in for coffee they usually find us on Google for coffee and then learn a little bit more about what we do and then um, we see them on the other end for other custom stuff oh that's yeah. so fun and I can see like those cookies and stuff with the photos on it that would be good if you had an event um, or you wanted to do a giveaway if you have a business for your clients so I yeah absolutely think that, that would be a great fit yeah we so, do a lot of that yeah mm -hmm. um, is there anything else that you would like our viewers to know about Sweet signatures? Sure, or? I mean, I think it's important for people to shop locally. Uh, we are family owned and operated. My family came on board when we built the shop four years ago. Um, so I think that's really important. You're, su you're supporting a local community and that that's what this is all about. Um, so I think that's the key thing. Everyone that you meet here uh, that works here is sincerely and genuinely interested in helping you get whatever it is that you need here. Um, we ask a lot of questions. We have a lot of options. We like to make sure that we make everything that you would like the way that you like it. Um, so that, I think that's important. We actually like, we really care sincerely about our customers. We know a lot of them by name. We have a customer loyalty program for coffees. Um, so we get to know you and your favorite drinks and things of that nature. Um, I think that's the most important. You know, we love what we do here. Um, and people are here because they want to be here. Right. Yeah. I love that. That's one of the main reasons I'm doing the Sterling Scoop, to connect the community. Yeah. Um, it's a neighborhood place. It's a good, very comfortable feeling. And I hope you check it out. So here are the two questions that I ask at the end of every interview. OK. OK. Um, what is your favorite thing to see, do, or eat in the Sterling area? I like to eat a lot in the <laughs> Sterling area. Um, and I like to just spend time with friends. So it's really just seeing my friends. I work a lot. So being able to see them out and about and, and just catch up on things is my favorite thing to see. Um, and then eat, I love anything. I love to support local businesses. So if I can find a local business, I'll usually start there. Um, and I'm, I like to eat all kinds of stuff, whether it's sweet, savory, snack, indulgent, whatever the case may be. Um, and then do, when I'm not, you know, in a sweet shop, I try to work out so that I'm <laughs> burning off some calories. So it's a little, you know, balance in the eating, working out, but also in the work-life balance. It helps me be stress. stress. Yeah, because yes. owning your own business stuff like is that. not yeah. stressful at all. Not at all. <laughs> I just work a lot of hours and have to deal with all kinds of crazy stuff. But it's a good time. Yeah. So I try to work on the balance part of my life. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And finally, if you had $100,000 to do a crazy upgrade to your home, what would you do and why? So I don't get to see my home very often. I've downgraded every time I've moved. I live in a quaint condo that I love because I have lots of windows wall to wall. I have high ceilings, which I love. makes me feel like I'm on vacation. I would probably hire like a, 
I would upgrade some things, maybe like countertops and floors and basic stuff. I'm kind of minimalist when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, you know, a cleaning person on a regular basis to help me just dust and stuff. Like yes. I said, I'm not really there that often. Um, you had mentioned a personal chef yes. earlier, so I would That's love a personal would chef. <laughs> uh, just because I'm here in the kitchen all the time and around food, it would be great. I've had people, um, I've done meal prep stuff before and that would be kind of fantastic too. Yeah. So Don't maybe an upgraded kitchen. Yeah, that'd once. be great. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah. <laughs> show, show up at home and my food's ready. Uh, that'd yes. be great. I think I would be yeah. a lot healthier if somebody else was doing that'd it. That'd be great, 100,000? <laughs> Yes. No, it could be done. Yes, you have, you know, absolutely. For a year or two, right? If you know anybody, let me know. <laughs> well, maybe through the scoop we'll find you. Okay, someone. fantastic. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, that's it for today for the Sterling Scoop. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment so you don't miss any of our future videos. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.